Thank you for joining me. I'm Scott Ryan. This morning, I was watching Fox and Friends. Gretchen Carlson was interviewing Larry Sabato, one of Mitt Romney's most loyal pimps of the past year. And what I saw there really confirmed what conservatives have been maintaining for the past year, and that is that, well, actually it surpassed what we were predicting. We were predicting that once Mitt Romney won the nomination, then maybe after he got into office, if he were to win the election, then he would turn his back on conservatives. But to our amazement, he's already done it. I mean, many people have assumed that Romney would choose a conservative running mate because he so disenchanted the conservatives throughout the past primary season as he's assassinated the character of every single conservative candidate, systematically, one by one. And Carlson was asking Sabato about uh, his choice for the vice presidential nod and Carlson was assuming that Mitt Romney would choose a conservative to bring the base together. And soap boy Larry Sabato corrected her and said that Romney needs to choose somebody who will be as plain vanilla as possible, as he called it, that will appeal to the moderate independents because he contended that the base is already united because Barack Obama has done that for Romney. So we don't even get to be... <laughs> well, listen, I, I don't care. I've maintained that I won't vote for this bastard no matter what. So he could pick Alan Keyes as his running mate. I'm still not voting for him. I'm sick of this. I'm disgusted. I'm sick of being punked. I'm just praying that somebody comes into this race, a credible conservative, somebody with huge name recognition who wants to be a patriot. Somebody, I'm not talking about the hundred people that run for president every four years that nobody's ever heard of. I'm not talking about uh, what's his name from New Mexico. I'm talking about somebody with serious credentials. That's, that's the only thing. There has never been a more auspicious time for a independent, a serious independent, to come in. And when I mean serious, it could be, when I say serious, it could be libertarian. I don't care. I mean, I'm not a libertarian, but I, mean, I will vote for a pro-life candidate who's conservative that even though they want to uh, do certain things that I disagree with, like, even Ron Paul. I mean, I, I would vote for Ron Paul before I voted for that inglorious bastard, that underhanded liar, deceiver, Mitt Romney. I mean, these choices are ridiculous. It's like we have a choice between worshipping the beast or the Antichrist. <laughs> this is just unacceptable. It's, it, it's sad. It's just... So th this is where we are. And, and it's funny because I, I have conservative friends who have bought into the Romney thing earlier on and supported them here in Florida. And, and I would c consistently debate with them and bring up the questions of, well, can you just tell me something that Mitt Romney has ever done that was conservative in his career? They could never give me an answer. I'd ask them to explain how he could justify the cash for clunker or the cat the wheels for welfare albatross that he made in Massachusetts and explain it. It was like they never heard of it, but they still made excuses for him. They still made excuses for him about lying about the individual federal mandate. And you know, no matter what, there was never any substance. But at the same time, these same conservatives were angry, vehemently opposed to possible choice of Marco Rubio as a vice president nominee because Rubio's a liberal 
Now, there was a, there was a contested Senate seat uh, run uh, when Rubio was running for Senate, and some of them became very disconcerted and, I think, uh, became attached to their particular candidates. And if they weren't on Rubio's side then, then they're, they're still taking it personally. But uh, it's, it's funny to compare to how, how anybody could support Romney but be angry and not want to vote for him because he wants to choose Rubio. I mean, Rubio is Pat Buchanan compared to Mitt Romney, or maybe I could come up with a better example, but uh, for conservative, uh, like somebody like Alan Keyes or you know, whatever, but none of this, I mean, I find it bizarre, but none of this really makes any difference to me, but it, it's... It's time to pray that something happens, that there's a miracle, that somehow Mitt Romney is taken out of this race before the nomination, before the convention, or that somebody serious, a real genuine conservative, not an imposter and a traitor, just because we hate the communists. Of course we hate the communists, but I think we can do better. Thank you for joining me. I'm Scott Ryan.